Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing um, a Boss Baby customized shoe. So I already have my um, SVG file in my Cricut Design Space. Um, I'm going to take away that one. It's way too big and go ahead and use the one that I already measured out. Um, this is for a baby shoe and I want to go ahead and hit, um, I want to go ahead and hit basic cut in instead of print then cut. Um, so just let me go ahead and rearrange um, my settings for the design and make sure it is on basic cut. Um, sometimes it will be attached um, or detached. So you just want to make sure you correct the correct settings, cutting settings for your design, which what I am trying to do now. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and just do a new page because apparently it didn't work for me. So I'm going to go ahead and upload my design, which is the Boss Baby. Click Add to Canvas. And it popped up, but it's way too big for the shoe that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to downsize it with the arrow. And I think it's a 1.6 um, measurement that I'm going to do for my shoe. So you just adjust it to your needs as to how you want it your design to fit on your um, project. So then I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, make it and it's sorting everything out into the mat and click continue. Um, and then it should tell you step by step which design will cut first. So I think it's about five mats with five different colors and make sure you mirror the image um, and just adjust it to how you want it to fit on the mat. So we're gonna go ahead and get all my colors out for my vinyls and just make sure it is five um, different pieces. So I'll go ahead and click continue and make sure that it's on the settings for the uh, design is on iron on and make sure that it is mirrored. So I'm gonna head, go ahead and sit my computer down and grab my um, vinyl and my cutting mat and go ahead and start assembling the mat with the vinyl. So that's a 12 by 12 mat and I'm gonna go ahead and get all my materials out and this is what I'm using, heat transfer vinyl sheets. You got 48 colors and you can get it off Amazon for about maybe under $15. Um, so yeah, guys, go ahead and check that out. And if you're interested in the vinyl, I'll leave it in the description box, if I can remember. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sort out my colors and make sure that I have almost the exact same colors as I want in the design. Um, some of the colors, I just have to kind of guess the closest color to the design and make sure that, you know, it's a good match with the design. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sort through my colors and make sure I have the proper one. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add the name to the shoe, which is Haze. Um, that's the name of the baby. So I'm going to just adjust the size of the name. I think I did it at a 1.5. Um, and once I get it to the right size that I want to be placed on the shoe, I'm going to go over here to the offset, um, the offset um, button. And the line for the offset button would be to adjust um, the background size that's going to go behind the name. So once you do that, um, you just go ahead and play around with it. You can change the colors on it. 
Um, you can resize it. It's just according to your preference on how you want it. Um, so once I got mine to the way I wanted it, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I um, get ready to have it cut out onto the mat. So I'm going to go ahead and make that. Um, and we'll go ahead and speed it up and get ready to weed out the vinyl and make sure that everything is cut properly to get ready to put the vinyl on the shoe. Okay, um, so I left out the part when I would um, put the vinyl on top of the shoe. So these shoes came from Hobby Lobby. I think it was like $5.99. Um, so what you wanna do is make sure you place your vinyl or your design um, right on the, the cloth of the shoe. Please, guys, please do not put it on that um, plastic, the rubber, not plastic, but the little rubber. You got a white rubber line, and then you got a black, and then the rest is kind of rubbery, like the smooth. Don't put it on there because this iron that I'm using, I got it from Amazon, and it's a um, steam fast iron. It's like it gets extremely hot, and as you can see, um, the white little scuffs that's on my iron, it actually came from a pair of shoe that I did on the vinyl on, but I did it too close to the rubber part. So please guys, make sure that it is not anywhere near this smooth rubber part because it will me melt that part and it'll get on your iron. Of course you can scrub it off, but I just was lazy and I didn't have time. So what you wanna do is take a towel or a small cloth and just insert it inside of your shoe wherever you want the design at and take your iron and just pretty much move it back and forth or you can let it sit but i advise you don't get anywhere near that rubber part because like i said it will come it will melt and then you know it'll just it'll be a whole mess and you'll probably have to throw away the shoe or just um give it away to someone that's gonna have a a, a baby that's gonna just play in the shoe so um and i'm sorry i left that part out of the video um but i will do another pair and i plan on doing i guess this pair soon i just have to find the right design that i want um to put on the shoe but I did want to stress that part when you're doing it, you know, on the shoe, when you're getting ready to um, put your vinyl on the shoe. And of course, this part is rubber as well. So if you are trying to get a design here, just take the shoelaces out and just kind of um, protect this. Maybe you could cover it up with a cloth or something other. But just take the shoelaces out and lay your vinyl design on the, the cloth part where the shoelaces won't be, you know, in the way. And like I said, this iron is, is the best iron um, to have and to use for small projects like this. Um, you could use this iron for um, HTV heat transfer vinyl. I mean, it's just like a heat press, it's just a small mini iron and it has a cord to it. Just plug it up and let it get hot. And that red light will pop on and it'll let you know that it's ready. But I did want to just throw that in the video because we're coming to the end. And I do apologize because I did left, I left this out um, showing you actually how to put the vinyl on the shoe with your iron. 
Um, so I just wanted to throw that in there and um, any questions, please put it in the comment. Um, let me know, you know, if you have problems with doing your shoe, but it's super, super easy. And as well as the back, you can make sure you put a design here and don't get anywhere close to the rubbery part um, as, as far as this shoe. So guys, um, I just wanted to let you know how to do that. And we're going to end the video, but I do have the actual shoe that I did make for Boss Baby. But it's, like I said, it's not demonstrating how to iron it on there. So I just wanted to throw those um, tips in there. And hopefully, you know, you'll give my video a thumbs up because I'm trying to grow my, my YouTube channel. And hopefully we'll see you all in the next video. But this is the end of this. And the shoes are coming up so you can see how they look so see you guys in the next video